So this is a shoulder disc collation case and is a Perthes, Glad, Alpsa or these two can ask also. Uh, glad. Glad. You're quite glad to see that. Okay, so what's a glad lesion? Basically the articular… If you get it wrong, it's gone, no? They don't have to… Okay. Huh, so what, is, what happens in glad? <laughs> <laughs> Just ask. <laughs> No, I was not choice Tuesday or Wednesday because then the rules will change, na? So, so what's a glad lesion? Just somebody is happy that they found it. Huh? Okay, now a glad lesion is basically when you see cartilage off. There's a little bit of cartilage off here, but the more important thing is when you see the, when you see that there's a bank art lesion and you see it's buckled inside. Okay, that's called an alpha lesion which is an anterior labral periosteal sleeve avulsion. So the periosteum gets avulsed and then that piece of labrum or, or bone and labrum gets buckled in between. So if you are supposed to see the whole variety of lesions that you get with an anterior dislocation, you will see a bankart lesion which is essentially the full labrum is off and the periosteum is torn. You can see a Perthes lesion where the periosteum is stripped but the labral tissue is right there in the same place. You can see a glad lesion, which is this happy one over here, where unfortunately with this cartilage, with this you can see that there's cartilage loss here. So this cartilage is coming off here. And then this you can see an alpha lesion. You see how that periosteum is stripped and then the labrum is buckled between the bone and the periosteum here. And then the last lesion you oftentimes see is a Hagel lesion, which is not on the glenoid side. It happens on the humeral side. So if you think about an anterior dislocation, it's like somebody kicked a door open. And depending on where you kick the door and how hard you kicked it, either the door will break, the hinge will break, the door jam where the hinge is attached will break, the entire door jam will break or the wall will break. Right? So that any of those things and that's basically what this is the spectrum of.